What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? y'all what's good what's good we're tuning in for another video man today it's a cold one it's cold one today oh uh, like i said i'm finna hop in dolo y'all feel i got to drag it out i'm finna test man on the way to lawless oh uh, i gotta run a few more errands and i gotta do something i gotta do something to oh the trunk lock I plan on us, man. We're going to get back, hop on meets. I need to put that trunk lock in, trunk lock in, man, so we won't get that installed, man. I can show y'all how to do that. It'll be my first time doing one, too. I ain't never did a trunk lock. But they pretty simple. No, I have. It's been a long time, though. I have done a trunk lock. It's been a long time. But uh, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all how to do that. I need to get the Summit and get a carburetor for Nana right here, man. That's why I ain't been driving. I still ain't been driving now. Cause that carburetor, man, I just be running around so much, busy. I ain't fooled with none of the car, man. But me and Jesse about to, uh, I'm about to get the Jesse, man. We're gonna get the plan together for me. I'm finna drop another load, man. I'm gonna tell y'all how much you gonna eat or how much you gonna be too. So people will know, man, the undercarriage, like, I'm about to spend almost another 10,000, man, for just the undercarriage, mainly the backside of the car. Probably gonna be, it probably gonna be right there at it. I might have to tame my uh dry shell too or have it cut. I hope I have I can just have it cut. I don't really want to. If it's too short, then I'm just SOL. I'm gonna have to sell the dry shell with the rear end and everything. So I'm gonna have the rear end for sale soon. I'm finna tell y'all what I'm gonna get, how much it's gonna be. Cause it's gonna be a big boy. Then I'm gonna put that same unit in uh Dolo too. Put the same thing in Dolo, but Meat's gotta have a little more done in Dolo. Dolo makes some power too, but Meat's gotta have a little more done. But next clip we finna tune in, man. I'm finna, I'm finna shake this joker down. Cause y'all know we make the converter chain. Every time I make a chain, I gotta shake it down and see what it do. So we finna do that and it probably gonna fly. Cause it cool. It cool, great weather. So it gonna make more power, man. So probably gonna fly. I'm finna come out the hoodie. It's windy. But I got heat in the car, man. So I'm finna turn that heat on if it get cool, which I should be straight though. And we're gonna head to Lawless Talk to Business. Then I'm gonna, uh, holler at y'all about What's gonna happen with meats? So y'all stay tuned. Y'all hear? He turn up. He turn up. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, this is the man. I'm a quarter mile hit, man. I don't know if y'all heard him or not. He done made him a good hit, boy. Let me see. We'll check him out. Yeah, boy, he done made him a good. He done made him a good. A good little hit.
Hey, you made your little shake down there. <laughs> right there. Hey, y'all. Hey, I told you I heard this way up there, boy. You made a nice little shake down. Oh, yeah. I hit it up there again. Hey man, y'all gotta see his reel too, man. He dropped a little reel over there. He had a little train break, little mild train break action. Y'all make sure y'all follow his uh, Facebook uh, page, Lawless Street Cars and Fabrication too, so y'all can see that show. Made it back after some riding, running errands, all that good stuff. Made me a little shake. The, uh, it was spinning though. It was spinning though, but it's still it's still on cue. It's on point like it's supposed to. But what I'm about to do, I'm about to jack the rear end up and put that joker in or uh, put that joker in gear. And I'm gonna jack jack it up by the rear end, sit on jack stand, put it in gear, let the tire run. Car. Everybody running, going crazy. You ready? You ready? I mean, now nah, you're tired. You're tired. Everybody like, hey, hey, hey. So I don't see put my eyes on and stuff. So I let Jesse drove it too, man. He said, man, he don't feel nothing. I don't feel nothing in the car either, but I'm pretty sure it's that trailing on. My lower control on. One of the bolts, man. Need to be a bigger bolt. It's tight. It's not loose. The control on, well, I mean, it's loose. The control on got some play in it. But um, it's not going to fall out, what I'm saying. It just need new hardware. So it probably got the rim moving side side a little bit like that. Ooh, look at that camera. Boom. 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 Anyway, it got the rear end going side to side. So I'm about to jack this joker up, man, and then we're gonna put it in gear and all of that. Then I'm holly child about that one. Which I guess I'm gonna have to holly in the garage cause that wind kicking today. It's pretty breezy, man. We need to take a trip to summit. And oh man, let me tell y'all about the trailer. Let me tell y'all about the trailer, man. So I wish you can flip the camera while you talking, man iPhone need to tighten up on it. Yeah, I'm on the phone, man. Y'all probably be like, hey, man, you got the... Let me tell you about the trailer axle, man. So, the axle should have been here this week. So, long story short, man, they haven't processed the transaction yet. Something happened with the... I don't know, man. Some Something happened with the system. Just now let me know. So, now I had to go... Well, shout out to my little brother, Cedro. So, I was like, man, this time, man, I'm just going to do cash. So, I, shot, I, I sent my little bro down there because he stayed in that area. The bro went down there and took care of everything. So I finally had me an axle coming for the trailer, man. I guess they put it in, man. I guess they put it in. So that trailer for sale, man. My trailer for sale, $2,500. Two brand new axles, man. Does not have trailer brakes. But like I say, it's a great trailer, 18 foot. Uh, and you got two brand new axles. I mean, ain't nothing else you can replace now. I even got a brand new, I don't know what you call it, Joe. Got that converter still for sale right there, TCI. Brand new. Light brand new, $500. Boom, my trailer. Boy, Rick gave it to me right there. Boom, that come with it too. Brand new. So, $2,500, man. Or you want to go ahead and get it, you can pay for it. And when the axle come in, I, you can pick it up. I mean, you can pick the trailer. I put the axle in. Then I got the fuel pump right here for sale for uh 130 which is like brand new. Basically brand new. Well, not that one, the one in the box. But, uh, yeah. So, if you want the trailer, you can, I'm, I'm in Georgia. You can hit me up. We can go ahead and get it done. It's a homemade. It's called. It's classified as a homemade trailer, which a lot of them are called. they custom built. Uh, it's registered to me. Come with a bill of sale. We do bill of sale on it, stuff like that. It's great. It's registered. Y'all know that. Everything I do legit anyway. But uh, if you want the trailer, man, get at me. Say if you want to go ahead and lock it in and buy it, you can buy it. It'll be yours. But I have a brand new axle. Supposed to be here this week, but now he said next Tuesday or Wednesday. So next week I will have the axle, man. I'll pop the joke in. So you got two brand new axles, two leaves, two new leaf springs, two hubs, everything brand new, and three brand new tires. The two of the tire new. Then you got you a good spare and stuff too. So y'all get at me. But uh. I'm about to jack Dolo up, man, and then see what's to it. And I'm holla at y'all about meats, man. I ain't even, I changed the tires on meats, man. I ain't even drove that joke. I ain't even drove that joke, man. It burned so much gas stuff, though. I was in this one today, which I need to dig brown coat out, man. Dry brown coat. Been wanting to dry brown coat and nano. Uh, 
Sometime this week, I'm trying to get up there and get a carburetor for Grandma Nana. I'm just going to put a brand new one on there and take it down the side car. Like I said, the one that's on there is it, too big for it, really. So, I got that. Oh, yeah. And I got Holly 600 carburetor for sale for $200, man. Holly 600. Uh, the one that come my wifey car. It's for sale, man. It's a great carburetor. It works good. Electric tote. It runs good. It crank up on the dime. Everything, man. I got that for sale for uh, $200. And then I got her old intake, man. Elder, Elder Brock Performer Dual Plane Intake, which was uh, pretty much brand new. Uh, it'll be uh, it'll be cleaned up. Look like it just came out the box. Trust me. Uh, I pick it up probably this week from Rick. Rick cleaned up. It's going to look just like it came out the box. So I have it for sale too, man, for $180 if you want that. It's super cheap for that. So uh, if you want any of them things, y'all get at me. We can jack the car up and uh, see what's to it. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all checking in, man. So <clears throat> I was about to, uh, I was about to go ahead and jack that joker up. I said, you know what? I ain't even do that. Man, it cold out here, man. I'm telling you, it, it cold, man. It been cold all day. I ain't even motivated. Then I was supposed to put the trunk lock in. I said, man, I can do that. It's it's a little it's a little too uh it's a, it's a little too cold. So we finna put it. Don't know what. Drinking some good, but uh, one day did week, man. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get my AC line made. I'm gonna drive the car up there to the spot, get my AC line made, so I know it's the right length and all that. Go ahead and hook that up. The heat, heat still, uh, boy, run you up out of there. I had it on the day. Said the heat make you run clean up out the car, man. You be like, what's happening, boy? Hey, discombobulated that heat. The heat blowing so good. Uh oh, I need to put me some clips too. I just see that. I need to put some more clip right here, man. Oh, that right there will be coming up off of there. Yeah. It's over here, man. That's how I be with these car, man. I be switching them up. Uh, tomorrow, I might I might dig brown. Now, tomorrow, Teeny. I might do it before she, while she at school. Teeny birthday tomorrow. Well, basically, the day y'all looking at this is Teeny birthday. So y'all know we are, uh, we're going to be celebrating Tina's birthday and stuff, but if, while she at school, man, I might have to be in wife work out. I probably, I probably did brown coat out, man. Go spin the block with brown coat, burn some ties and all that. I need to tune it up. I got some plug. I need to tune it up. 
and all of that. But let me tell y'all what the plan for meets, man. Let me tell y'all what's the plan. So what I'm saying, what I was telling y'all earlier is uh meets. Ain't no need really taking meets back to the track right now. Y'all see how I do stuff, man. The way I do stuff is uh I go. Man, let me turn the camera around, man. So I got it back. Well, I'm gonna turn the camera around first. Alright, so y'all know the way I do stuff is uh I go, I go to the track, make two, three passes, then I see what I need to see, and then I go fix it and address it. I know people like, man, Jay, why you ain't been racing nobody this net? Well, the thing with me is, yeah, I could race people. I could race people right now. There's a lot of people want to race. Some want to race just to race me, you know, some just for the fun of it. And then some be one clout. They just the reality of the situation. Ain't nobody going to admit it, but some be one clout. But the way I like to race, I don't like going out there if my stuff not 100% complete. Like, y'all see, now, R&B, I rate R&B more than anything. And that's the car I don't even plan on racing. That's my slower car. But y'all know I do R&B because R&B the closest thing to completion. As far as, uh, you know, it ready to go. All I got to do is exhaust. I'm going to do exhausting headers, but that ain't affecting the performance to where it ain't performed. They're just going to enhance it. They're, they're just going to enhance it, but it ain't affecting the current performance. Now, here you are with Meech. Meech went out there, twisted up. It looked good, but it's affecting the performance. And you going to tear something up. See, with R&B, man, I ain't going to tear nothing up. I mean... The headers and big exhaust, it's just going to make it work better, but it ain't going to tell nothing up me running it like it is. So they're cool. Brown coat, same way. I mean, I can run brown coat now. That's why I said brown coat straight. It just, I need the nitrous, but at the state as it in, I don't need nothing because, I mean, it'll go. It's ready to go. But the nitrous just going to enhance it. Uh, Now, when you're talking about Dolo, y'all, I'm constantly – you know, with Dolo, when I take it, I find out something else. Like last time, me and Tucker were going to play around. I took it, and it broke. It broke some. So, obviously, that means, hey, I got to dress something else. That's how it go. It showed his hand. All the time, y'all been seeing me take it to the track. I have never really poured it to it. Even then, I still didn't pour 100% of what it had to it. I did pour more than what I have ever poured to it to see how it going to take. But I still haven't poured 100% to it. And I poured just a little more and it broke. So when that happened, it showed it face. You got to fix it. Then you got to test again. Like the fuel pump. I got to put the new fuel pump on. Which, like I said, the engine, the combo, everything making more power. So I found out, hey, I need a fuel pump for the motor. I need another, another bigger fuel pump for the motor. I changed it. It still wasn't a big enough fuel pump. So I had to go get a big boy. So, you know, there was stuff like that. I don't want to go out there. Like, I accept the motor race and Dolo say, hey, you want to race on motor? Yeah. And then I know I got a problem. And then they beat me because I run, I'm, I'm running low on fuel on the top. Then I'm like, then, you know, hey, if, if I don't like doing ifs in racing. That ain't me. I don't do no if. Hey, I want, I want, I like to run at my best. And I like to run a person at their best. I don't want nobody they popping and backfiring or they got problems i don't like racing nobody like that other people like weak stuff like that i don't like weak stuff like that like with me see in grudge racing people try to get you when you first come out because they they be like oh yeah they're the bad time they try to get you when you first come out with don't get me wrong even with it coming in the air the joker went fast i ain't saying it then it did go fast but I'm just saying, I know how much that affected it when it cocking in the air and all that. And I know eventually it's going to break some. When I really, really go to it, I say it's going to break some. So it like, why go to it and I keep cocking in the air and I keep doing that? Why am I going to go to the track and keep doing the same thing when the, I'm not running the car at full potential? I'm just hurting the chassis all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I ain't hurting no parts. I'm just hurting the chassis, though. I'm hurting the parts on the chassis. So, like, why? So that's why now I'm about to have me a nine inch on the way, aluminum center section, the whole nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it light as possible because them jokers are already heavy. So I'm gonna just spend the money, and I think the rear end 
with I ain't telling everything I'm getting done to. It's gonna be it's gonna be whole the whole real deal. Like it ain't just a regular standard nine in. Like it's over here gonna be the truth. But um it's gonna be like what is it, 52, 52, 5300, 5300, it's gonna be like five thousand, man, like almost uh approaching fifty five hundred dollars. Uh well fifty three plus shipping. Plus shipping, but so fifty three hundred dollars for a red, and then you talking about the the anti roll bar, uh, which both of the car I gotta do two of them, I gotta do two red too. So you talking about ten? Dolo need one eventually, but I'm not gonna have to go to the extent it, 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 like all the, the nine inch they're going in meat. I'm not gonna have to do the same stuff. So Dolo Dolo nine inch might cost like forty five or forty seven. It's just the stuff that I'm having done to meet nine inch that make it so high. So I'm not gonna have to do all of that stuff for Dolo nine inch, but that two on. So you talking about ten thousand and two rear ends, man? Like you just talking about ten thousand dollars? And then, but Dolo's coming, cause I really think that carrier hold, cause I got the same carrier in, in meats and on uh, meats. It didn't bust the carrier. It, it held out. <laughs> it twisted, but it held out. But uh. So, you talking about five, fifty three hundred for that, and then with the roll bar, the double adjustable uppers and lower control arms, uh, the coil overs. See, you talking about like eight or nine thousand dollars? I think. I think nine. I got it in my note. Nine some thousand, man. And then when you add the hood in that I'm having done by Glass Tech, which I think the hood was seven. I can't, I can't remember. I gotta go back and look. But basically, that's why I'm telling y'all, you talking about ten thousand dollars. You talking about ten thousand dollars. That's why I'm saying this stuff get expensive, man. And that's what I'm telling people when you making power, power, like it costs more. And when you making power in a big car, it costs even more. It's it's a little easier in a lighter car, cause you don't have to have as heavy duty stuff. But you making a lot of power and torque plus the weight of the car, man. It like you gotta do extra stuff. It just it look good moving these, making these big big sleds move, but it do cost more, man. So meats, man. That's why I said you talking about another ten thousand or something going into meats, and we ain't even talking about paint, man. And meats, the money that's in meats already. After I do that, gonna be done the same amount of money in Dolo, like it's it with wheels on it. So that's why I'm like, man, I'm telling y'all, like, I'm a weight car with meats car. I knew how much money it gonna take, man. I already, I already knew. And then I know what's gonna come behind it. So I'm about to drop the load, do that. We're gonna get lawless street cars to put all that on at one time. Rear end, coil overs, uh, and I still got to do the aluminum exhaust. There's gonna be another. Shit, I ain't even getting that, man. I just thought about it. I gotta do the aluminum exhaust. But for, for right now, the exhaust, exhaust, I I can I can I can deal with it, but I'm gonna get them to put the rear end in, the uh the coil overs, the roll bar, and the adjustable uppers and lowers, and then that car will be done chassis wise, man. Ain't nothing else that I could break or that I could touch. Like the car will be done performance wise. All I have to do is the aluminum exhaust. That's it. Then meets will be ready. I can let out the train brake. I can pull whatever I pull to it, man. Long whatever the tires are hold. So then meets will be ready. So I'm about to get on that ASAP rocket. Before the year out, I'm finna get on that ASAP Rocky, get that stuff done to my boy Meats. So Meats gonna be 100% complete before Dolo will come. Dolo, I, Dolo been having fun out here. Meats sat down the long, so Meats gonna be the car I get the 100% completion. Then I'll come back probably top of, top of next year, honestly, cause I ain't no rush with Dolo. I'll probably come back to top of next year and then get Dolo 9 inch done. And, uh, mm, and get the roll bar. I probably do that top of next year for Dolo. Dolo already got this off, but the roll bar in the nine inch, I probably gonna stick that one in next year. Cause next year, uh, next year, man, Dolo Nitro Combo be coming out. Uh, well, not coming out, I should say. Almost, I'm gonna remix it. Probably the middle of next year, I'm gonna remix it. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run a few races on wheels and run some races or uh, small, small tire small tire stuff and then i'm gonna switch it over to turbo so we'll have another turbo car in the fleet so 
I will be switching uh, Dolo over to Turbo Gen 1 still. Turbo, I'm going to show y'all what you do with that Gen 1 Turbo Boosted. That what Dolo going to be. Uh, meat. Meat's just a monster. And people people going to see. People going to see, man. I, I, I'm telling y'all, look. I know a lot of people watch my video. They don't comment. Uh, it's a lot of people watch my stuff on Facebook and be listening. They act like they don't watch, but they be trying to scope me out and this and that. Meat's going meat's gonna to shock a lot of y'all. I promise you. I, I promise y'all. Y'all know I'm on cap now. Don't look on shock people too. I just don't like going out there and I ain't 100% complete. If somebody beat me and I'm 100%, I can respect that. I can respect that, man. I can't respect the man if I know I got to change something, I got some problem. I can't respect that. But if a man beat me and I'm at my best, I can honestly come on camera and be like, hey, man, I lost this and that. Which I come on camera and say that anyway. If a man beat me at my best, I just give me props. Isn't that? But if a man don't beat me at my best, and then they go out bragging and stuff, I'm like, man, you ain't beat me at my best, man. I'm going to have to come back and slap you across the head now. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do with me. I promise y'all, I ain't put the cards together just to show y'all make YouTube video. I'm going I'm to I'm catch me some bodies. I'm going to catch me some bodies before I pop the hood. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't popping the hood, man. I'm not popping, not popping the hood, not just yet. And I ain't telling nobody what it is. I told y'all though, if you listen, I said it's a standard deck height, man. If you just listen to me, I said it's a standard deck height motor. That's all I give people. It's a standard deck height. Now, hey, there can be a variety of things when you come to big block. It's a standard deck height though. It's a standard deck height. It's not a tall deck engine, but it's a standard deck height. Big block. Hey, you can let your mind wander after that, man. It could be in the fold still. It could be in the fives. You can't go past that with a standard deck height, though. I just tell you that, but, but it could be in the folds. You don't know. You don't know. It is one. It one. It one engine that's in the 400 cubic inch that's still a bad engine if you know what to do now. I told y'all, I'm known for shocking people. Still be in the fold, but who knows, man? But uh, yeah, and then. <laughs> Trip me out. It, it's on that thing. The car didn't run on motor, man. Like, didn't really run on motor. But I think those are the people more so on, on uh, Facebook that didn't see the whole vlog because some of the people watch exclusively on Facebook, man. I, then I just go back. If you saw the clip or you skipped over it, just go back and look at the GoPro. You ain't going to see me turn on no switches. I ain't purge nothing. Straight horsepower, man. Straight horsepower. But, uh, yeah. We gonna uh, probably tomorrow it'll warm up some. I might get out there, go ahead and change, uh, change that trunk lock out and stuff, and get that situated. But I'm about to cover Dolo up, and I'm finna go in the house because it getting even colder now, man. So I appreciate y'all. We'll catch y'all later. BCG, we out.